Hey guys, so today we'll be showing you an alternate method for updating the Wi-Fi module firmware on your GHL device. With this method, you'll be using the Wi-Fi firmware update tool. This particular tool allows you to perform an update on your Wi-Fi module using a USB connection instead of the traditional method which involves updating the module through a web browser. Before you get started, you'll first want to make sure you have the newest version of GHL Control Center already installed on your PC. If you don't have it installed yet, please go to our website's downloads page and select the newest version of GCC to download. We've placed a direct link to our download section in the description box below. Once you have the newest version of GCC installed, you'll have everything you need to begin the update. Start by clicking on the Windows search bar located at the bottom left of the screen. Type in this PC, then press enter. Select your hard drive which may be labeled as the C drive and then select program files x86 or x64 whichever you see on your screen. Find and select the newest version of GCC, then select the Wi-Fi folder. Select the Wi-Fi firmware update tool folder, then select the corresponding file. At this time you can connect the USB cable to your GHL device and PC. Once that's done, click on the refresh port list button. You'll then see one or more COM numbers listed. Select the COM port number that belongs to your GHL device. If you're not sure which COM number to select, you can always use Device Manager to get the info you're looking for. To do that, type in Device Manager into the Windows search bar and press Enter. Take a look at the port's COM and LPT category and click on the right pointing arrow. You'll then see the GHL driver listed with a COM number beside it. The COM number you see on your screen is what you'll need to select in the update tool. In this example, we're updating the Wi-Fi module firmware for a Profilux 4. From looking at the device manager window, we can see that the Profilux is located on COM port number 6. Knowing that, we can go back to the update tool and select COM 6. Make sure to select the correct COM port number that is shown in your device manager window. Once that's done, click on Identify GHL Connected Device, then click the Start button. When this window pops up, the update will begin. This process should only take about a minute or two to complete. Once the window closes itself, the update will be complete. Now that the window is closed, restart the GHL device and give it a minute to fully boot up. At this time, your GHL device will now be running on the new Wi-Fi module firmware. Thanks guys for watching this video. If you have any questions for us, feel free to post on our GHL support forum or send us an email for one-on-one -on -one support. Our contact info can be found in the description box below. Until next time folks, take care.